Look, Mom, a cruise ship. From up here, it looks like it's in the middle of the forest, doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's on water. Hey, I'm Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides, and today I am here on Disney's beautiful private island, Castaway Key. This is the third, well, actually fourth sort of private island, private beach area from cruise ships that I have been on. I have been to Labadee, which belongs to or is run by Royal Caribbean, the old Coco Key, which is also run by Royal Caribbean, Princess Keys, which is visited by, I think, Princess, Carnival, and Holland America Cruise Lines. And now I'm here at Castaway Key. I'm actually done with my day now. In just a minute, I'm gonna rewind to the beginning of the day, but just wanna let you know that uh, what you're gonna see in this video is uh, us renting and riding bikes, us swimming in the unbelievably crystal clear water, checking out the beaches, and having some food. But let's rewind to the beginning of the day now. in the buffet and have a fantastic view of Castaway Key down there. And something that I've seen offered here that I haven't seen offered on any other ship I've been on is an, they're offering a vegan omelet. So of course that's what I ordered and I'm waiting for it to arrive now. They make it uh, and then they're gonna bring it to the table. So I've got my number 100 here and that's how they know where I'm sitting. It took about 15 minutes. Here is my vegan omelet. Couldn't tell you what this is made of. It has a very eye, uh, egg kind of mouth feel. It's light and fluffy. And I asked for peppers and spinach in it, and yeah, I have peppers and spinach. Here is a map of the island that we got in the cabin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a ship where we have to back here, and the place where we get the bikes is here so i guess we'll walk up to there and then take a bike along here this is an old landing strip there's an observation tower back here and then this is the adults only beach serenity bay we'll end up probably spending most of the day there i don't know there's a water slide here as well called pelican plunge and so if uh, if that is not an extra charge i'm sure i want to try that too And it's still Christmas on Castaway Key. Yay! Does that mean we get presents today? I've been a very good boy. We were wondering where we would get towels because there were no beach towels provided in the cabin, but here they are right when you get out of the ship before you enter like the actual island area. Not too far from the ship is the tram stop, and there is a tram here, like the parking lot trams at the Disney parks that will take you to Scuttles Cove and Castaway Beach. It's funny that it says next tram arrival less than six minutes, but that's Bahamian time, which I think means it'll be here when it's here. The theming here is so cool. You know, it's what you expect from Disney. Everything looks like, yeah, like it's part of a story like it, you know, existed here long before and you have these nice Disney touches everywhere. Whew. And that bathroom smells really bad. Just got like a major whiff of sewer smell out of that bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess it can happen anywhere, even at Disney. We have now walked out of the ship along here and we are standing in this area here. It took us about 10 minutes, but we had various yeah, speeds of families in front of us uh, blocking our paths. So 
I might be able to do it quicker, but you know, at a leisurely pace, it took us about 10 minutes. We still have this far to go. This beach here still looks pretty empty, still pretty easy to get a deck chair here, or a sun chair, I guess I should say, a beach chair. Be interesting to see what this looks like later in the day compared to what it looked like at, uh, at Princess Keys last week on the Carnival Sunrise at later in the afternoon. And I think we found our goal, first of all. The bike rental. They have uh, bikes with kid seats here, and then they also have kid size bikes, even like for little kids. I mean, those bikes are small. Don't make any jokes about me now. And there are other size bikes here, and you can adjust the seat as well. riding our bikes. We went way past Serenity Bay, the adults only area. And yeah, I didn't realize that this path was so long and it's just nice to feel the wind in your hair and just see things going past and sort of forget about your everyday life, you know? Isn't that what vacation is all about? And Marcus and I were talking about how, you know, we, we ride our bikes a lot at home to get around. And why doesn't Disney at Disney World in Florida why don't they build amazing bike paths like this and then make that a possibility to get to the parks in the morning? I could totally imagine waking up and instead of waiting in line for the bus or the Skyliner or the monorail, getting on a bike and riding on a path like this to the park. I would totally do it. Would you guys do it too? Totally. I wonder, you know what? I bet they will do that eventually. So this is as far as the path goes, at least the bike path. And there is a roped off or a you know, you know, boarded off area up here. Let's go look at what's down there. This. You can see somebody's parasailing back there. If you see the colorful umbrellas down there that is serenity bay and here is just sand and rocks and beautiful blue water without cares and worn out clothes doesn't seem so long ago now i'm just sitting here bored at home and it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road Way over on the other side of the island, we found the observation platform. Let's go see what it looks like from up there. From the ship back there, I think that we rode to around here someplace. And then back to somewhere over there is where the adult beach is, Serenity Bay. And then up the landing strip, which is like in the middle. And then there's long winding paths through all this like forest area and then over here it looks like nature look mom a cruise ship from up here it looks like it's in the middle of the forest doesn't it it doesn't look like it's on water i don't know if you can see it here but way up here at the point there is another beach but i don't think that we really have access to that oh i can see people on it though that looks so secluded. Nice. This has been such a cool day so far already. I think probably my favorite private island experience just for the whole, I don't know, the theming and the quality and the fact that you can rent a bike and ride all over the place. It's been really nice. Things we did back 
tell you that I haven't laid in many hammocks in my life, but I don't find this very comfortable. And I'm getting seasick. <laughs> so I think it's time to get out. It literally feels like being at a Disney park or a Disney water park here on the island. The only thing that's missing are rides. I'm in the bathroom here, don't worry. I'm in here alone. And I just wanted to show you that they even have, you know, like the bathrooms are even themed. That's just one thing that, you know, Disney does so well and that you come to expect from Disney. And when you pay this extra price to vacation at Disney or with, uh, you know, Disney Cruise Line, this is, these are the kind of things that you can expect for your money. Like immersive storytelling, like all the little details have been thought out. One thing I can tell you is that the lunch here on Castaway Key was definitely better than the lunch on Princess Keys. And now we're gonna hop back on our bikes and go explore the other beaches, just sort of take a look at what's going on over there, if it's more or less crowded, what the atmosphere is like. There is quite a bit happening here on this beach. And there is the water park area out there as well. It looks like a lot of fun, but there is a very long line for that slide. And I guess I'm just gonna skip it. Sorry, party pooper. This is a view up close at the other beach. And you know, from this recording, it does look crowded, but it's relaxed. And there are still plenty of beach chairs available to get. And actually out here, this area, that is all the snorkeling area. And if you want to rent a snorkel, you can do that here on board. If you bring your own snorkel, you still are required to wear a life vest. Just for some comparison, this is Cookies, one of the barbecue areas closer to the ship. And they have plenty of seating here. And several, you know, sort of like inlets where you can go into the buffet. It's very large. And it, we're past lunchtime here. I mean, it's like, it's one o'clock now. And I'm assuming everybody started going to lunch at 1130 like we did on our part of the island. But still, it doesn't look crazy crowded here. It looks very manageable. And they have pizza and corn on the cob. We didn't have that at our barbecue. I see they also have Castaway, Castaway Ray Stingray Adventure down here. I'm assuming it's, you know, some place where you can go swimming with stingrays. Sounds like a nightmare to me, but if you want to pay to do it, I won't judge. There is a place up here called Pelican Point Overlook. And just across from there is a fantastic place to get a view of the ship and maybe a family photo or a selfie. Holy crap, these prices for half hourly rentals are crazy. $18, I'm sure, plus gratuity for half an hour. Yeah, no thank you. I'll just go swimming. 
But you know, to be fair, we rented our bikes for one hour and that was supposed to be, I think $13 also for an hour. And they told us, forget about the hour, just bring it back whenever you're done. You're on island time. So I wonder if that's how they treat these things as well. I can't remember what we did that time. We were spending one night in Venice. It just slipped my mind. I just know how it felt. I and here we are back at the end. I hope this video helped you. If you are considering a Disney cruise uh, that stops at Castaway Key, let me know. Maybe I can help answer more questions. This is only the first time I've been here, but we spend quite a bit of time on the island. So maybe I know something that might be helpful to you. Let me know, write it in the comments below, or you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. See you soon.